Hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dee and I'm a social media marketer and course creator at DD Creative. Today we're going to take a look at how you can save time using Typeset to create your social media posts. If you haven't yet signed up to Typeset, you can take a look at typeset.com and sign up for a free trial. Typeset is an amazing tool for creating documents, reports, webinar slides and of course social media graphics just like these ones. You can literally create stunning visual content without being a graphic designer. So let's dive in. When you first open Typeset you'll be taken to the dashboard where you can see some of your previous creations. To start something new you will see the create button to the top right of your screen. Click on that and you've got three options. You've got deck, document, or social media. So today we're creating social media posts, so we're going to click on social media. So when you create something on the left here, you will see it populate in real time on the right. Over here, you've got a few templates to choose from to get started. Let's click on more and you can scroll through and choose the template that you want. For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm just going to click on the first one. And as you can see, it populates on the right hand side. Now, I'm just going to name this deck first of all, social media posts. Uh, I'm going to click on the little arrow where it says title at the top. And scroll down to quote so we're going to create some quote graphics using AI the most popular quotes on Instagram include positivity quotes success quotes motivational quotes and inspirational quotes so we can create some Instagram graphics around these types of quotes and we'll use AI to provide those quotes for us so to get into AI mode, it's forward slash and you'll see AI mode at the top. You just need to click enter and choose what your quote will be about. So I'm just going to request a quote about positivity and press enter. And the little robot does his thing. So the first quote that comes up, positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. I can press enter and that has populated on the right hand side. Now I want to change the sizing of this so that I can post it in Instagram. So on the far right here you've got a few little options. Uh, the first one is design and style, the second one is view, you've got export and sharing. So view, if we click on that, you can change your view the social media to be square which is perfect for Instagram and Facebook. You've got wide which is perfect for Twitter and also for Facebook and you've got tall which you can use for Pinterest and then of course you've got a banner so you'll be able to create banners for your social media platforms. So for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to click on square and there we go, it is populated now as a square image. And I'll just click on that again to close it. So now I just want to change the layout of this slide. So on the slide itself, down the bottom, you've got the little magic wand. I'll click on that. And then you've got a few templates here to choose from. So you can scroll through and decide which template works for you. I'm going to choose this one right here and I'll click on the magic wand again to close that. Now I don't like this image so on the left hand side where you can see the image I'm going to click on replace and you have a few different options here so you can actually search for a particular image um, and we'll do that going to search for a single lone tree. I like this one right here. 
So we click on the image that we've chosen and then update image at the bottom and it will populate on the right hand side. So we've got our first Instagram post right here. Now if we wanted to create a second post, um, going to the left again and press enter to create a new slide. Now on the far left where you've got a little magic wand again, I can click on that and I'll get some templates here on the left as well. So I'm going to choose the same one that we used before and again at the top, so I'm in title and image at the top above the image here. Right at the top we go to quote once again, clear title and image, forward slash to get back into AI mode and enter a quote about motivation. If I didn't like this quote, I can scroll through because AI mode, it provides three different options. Scroll through until I find the one that resonates with me and enter. And now over on the right, I'm going to click on the magic wand once again, scroll through to find a template that resonates with me. I've chosen this one. Magic wand again to close that. And now I want to change this image as well. So on the left hand side where it says replace next to the image, let's look for, let's go with a flower this time. So we're searching for a flower. I do like this tulip. So I've checked the image that I want to add, click update image and there we go. So we've got two quotes ready to go. So let's just create one more. Enter to start a new slide. Left hand side for the magic wand to create the template. Now remember always up the top to go into quote if it is a quote that you are wanting. Forward slash to get into AI mode. And now we will so we'll create a quote about success, enter. And again, we've got three quotes to choose from. Scrolling through using the arrow keys. Oh, I like this one. Success is not the absence of failure. It's the persistence through the failure. Press enter. Now over on the slide, magic wand to change the template. Scrolling through once again, and we'll choose this one right here. Magic wand to close those out again. Now I'm going to change that image once more. How about we just put in success and see what it comes up with. Let's choose this one right here. Now I want to reposition that image. So the little square at the top of the image on the slide, click on that and I can just drag that across until it suits me. Clicking on the check mark will save that for you. Okay, so we've got our three images here. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do make any errors, it's okay because Typeset does automatically save everything for you. So you can certainly go back and change anything if you need to. Okay, so what we want to do now is actually download these uh, images. So to the right hand side again, the little arrow that points down is export. So I'm going to click on export. And of course we choose the JPEG images. We can choose the sizing if we want to change that at all. We're keeping it as square because it is perfect for Instagram. All we need to do then is click export selected. It will be saved for you. Now, of course you can change this to Twitter. You can change it to Pinterest, you can change it to wide, you can change it to a banner for your Facebook cover for your Twitter header image, your LinkedIn profile cover as well, even a YouTube cover photo. So Square is the best one to use uh, if you wanted to save these for Instagram. And all you need to do now is export and they are all done and saved for you. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials just like this one. And I will see you again soon.